Welcome to the next tutorial in our Photoshop series. We'll be doing this tutorial about a great neon text effect for your text. It's a simple effect that will make it really fun to add text to your images of brick walls or nighttime building photos and more. First we'll start out with a brick wall image. Any brick wall image will do, as we will put our text over it and make it glow. Let's add some text now to the image and write neon, probably in a cursive font of some kind. Make sure the font size is large enough to fit into the middle of the image. Next, we'll add a hue and saturation layer to the image. So select the background layer, then go to Layer, click New Adjustment Layer, and then Hue and Saturation. Set the saturation to pretty low, and the lightness as well, but not too dark. We want it to be bright enough that we can see the brick wall. Next, create a new layer which we'll call Clouds. You could do this, of course, by clicking the New Layer button at the bottom, which looks like a new page. Here we'll add Clouds to the layer by clicking Filter, then Render, then Clouds. Create a black layer mask on that cloud layer by Alt-clicking the New Layer Mask button. Make sure your clouds layer is set to divide on the layer mode here. Let's use our brush tool here to uncover some clouds. Set the foreground color to white. Make sure the layer mask is selected. And set the opacity of our brush to about 50%. Make sure your brush hardness is also 0% as well. Once that's done, uncover some clouds behind the neon word. Next, we'll start working on our text. Make sure to change the font of the text to something blue if it isn't already. And go into the layer blending modes. We'll add a bevel and emboss effect to the text, making sure the style is inner bevel, the technique is smooth, the depth 185, the direction up, the size 3, and the soften 16. We'll also add an inner shadow effect where the blend mode is multiply, the opacity 40%, the distance 5, the choke 0, and the size 5. Then we'll add an inner glow effect where the mode is screen, the opacity 75, the noise 0, the choke 0, and the size 8. Make sure to make the Technique Here source center. Then hit OK. Create a duplicate layer of that text. Put it below the top layer of text, then convert it to a smart object. Add a Gaussian filter using the Filter dropdown, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to about 11 pixels. Now we'll create the wire that the neon sign is connected to the wall by creating a new layer above the clouds layer. Set your brush first to one with a full hardness and about 13 pixels in width. Use the pen tool here on the layer and click and drag out a line across the layers here in a curvy wave. Right click on the line and click Stroke Path. Make sure the Simulate Pressure option is turned on. Right-click the path, then click Delete Path. We'll add a blending layer effect to the line, Bevel and Emboss. Make sure that the depth is 245, Size 0, and Soften 3. Lastly, we'll add a more soft blue glow to the clouds and another layer. Add another layer on top of this layer, then switch to a soft brush with no hardness, with the size close to the size of our letters. Set the opacity to about 63%. Brush in some blue. 
Set the layer blending to soft light. And there you have it. Our neon sign is complete.